Hey everyone, welcome to another Pathfinder Adventure card game. We are on scenario 4.3 here at the Mumia Lab. And it states here, at this location, at the start of your turn, succeed at a constitution 4 check or suffer the Scourge Curse of Withering. Alright, well advancing the blessings deck, first thing we need to do is make that constitution check. Uh, Alhazra has a constitution of d6, uh, so she will... You know what? I have three blessings in my hand. I'm not going to take a chance. I'm rolling 2d6. Alright, let's see what we got. Alright, so we're rolling a 4 and a 1. So we do make pass that constitution 4 check. Now we are exploring. We get uh, the cure spell. It's basic. It's a Wisdom Divine 6. Alhazra has a Divine of D10 plus uh, 7. That's an auto acquire. What we're going to do is, but we'll keep it. We're going to use it next turn. Okay, advancing the Blessings deck. Uh, we have to roll for the Mumia Lab. And what we're going to do, we're just going to roll straight up D6. Okay, so we rolled a 3. So we get the Curse of Withering, but Alhazra has that ability where she can discard a spell to banish a card that has the Curse trait. Okay, so we'll go ahead and just banish that Cure spell we just got. Uh, da -da -da, so we're going to discard it. We banish the Curse of Withering. We don't want to deal with that. We're going to explore. Okay, we get an Acid Flask spell. Intelligence Craft 5. It's a basic item not too enthused about it and we don't get it okay it gets banished and this since it has the basic trait it actually gets banished for the remainder of the campaign this campaign is winding down so what we're gonna do is we have two we actually have three blessings in our hand so we're gonna use a blessing of Ra and we're going to explore because we don't want to be dealing with that curse of withering all right and we get a oh wow this is a level three we're on level four a Compson coat, Constitution Fortitude eight. Hmm, that actually looks pretty cool. I like it. You know, this is, it looks pretty nifty. Um, but do we really want it? That's the question. Do we really want this card? And we really don't, because we want to keep uh, exploring. So what we're going to do is we will just uh, since it's a Alhazra has a Constitution of D six. She's going to auto-fail that. But what we want to do is we want to use a Blessing of Phrasma in order to explore it again. And, uh-oh. All right, so we get the, the villain. So we did not examine this card. So it says, if your combat check does not have the attack or range trait, the difficulty is increased by three. Well, fortunately, in our hand, we have this brand new eruption spell, which we just gained last scenario through a traitor no less all right so if defeated so it's a check to defeat combat 20 or divine 14 well, that's pretty cool because Alhazra has a divine of d10 plus 7 right so she already has over 7 man that's pretty tempting to just use a blessing of Horus uh, so we can uh, not examine that's really tempting to just do the Blessing of Horus and do a straight-up Divine check. Oh, and you know what? This is awesome because Alhazra has this new ability. Uh, thanks to her Seeker rule, it's a trigger. So check this out. You may recharge a card to add 1d8 to your check against the Bane that has a trigger trait. All right, so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to do a straight-up Divine check, which is... D10 plus 7. We're going to use a Blessing of Horus, which gives us another D10. And we're going to then recharge a card to add 1D8. We'll, we'll, we will recharge the Embalming Fluid, because that's not going to do us any good, in order to add an additional D8 to this check. Alright, these three dice plus 7. Alright, and we rolled a 5, we rolled a 10, and a 13. So, boom! That villain, well, Grant, yeah, it was a 10, 15, 18, plus 7, uh, 25. We only needed a 14 for the divine. It says, uh, if defeated and the result of the check to defeat is less than 25. Uh, but it wasn't. 
So <clears throat> we don't have to deal with that if defeated care uh, thing. Okay, so the Mumia Lab. Um, we don't have to do the when closing effect because it was a villain. And that scenario is gone. So let's go ahead and do a deck check. So, uh, putting those blessings away from the blessings discard pile. We'll, we'll have to go through this uh, scenario. If there's any basic cards, they're going to be um, banished for the rest of the game. So this character uh, will be banished for the rest of the campaign. Okay, we don't have to deal with any of that. So now we'll go ahead and do the deck check. So of course, Alhazer has hmm, oh, blurry there. Stop blur. There we go. Let's try to get it focused there. There we go. Sometimes the camera does that. So we got all these uh, great boons here going on for Alhazra. And I'll go ahead and... Uh, so we get this uh, spell, which we can either trade or get rid of. So we got some options for a trader, perhaps. So let's go ahead and see what we got. So that's a blessing over there. So the reward for this scenario... Dun, dun, dun. So this is the state of uh, Alahazra's deck right there. Those are all of our cards. So the reward for the scenario was this ally. So we gained this ally. He was hanging out in the Mumia lab. And we get a card feat. Okay, so looking at the card feat options for Alhazra. Um, let's see, I think... So we could get another weapon. We could get... Another spell. Our spells are pretty good. I mean, we're really not going to keep that uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're really not going to keep this cure spell. We're going to get rid of it. So then the option is is we we can trade this guy that we just gained. We're going to go ahead and we're going to try to get ourselves another item. So we're going to bump up our uh, card feet. So we're going to max out on items. And then what we want to do is we want to visit the guy. You know what? We're going to just go straight to... We're going to go to Falsine Deek. We're going to go to this trader. He only wants two boons for an item. And he's going to be giving us some quality items because we're on level 4. He's only giving us items that are of level 3 or 4. So let's go ahead and see where we're starting off here. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Roll that D30. Okay, so he's uh, level 3 or level 4 items. So let's see. Okay, so he's offering us the Necklace of Fireballs or, uh, or the Knot of Isis. Well, that is pretty amazing because obviously... See, the Necklace of Fireballs, let's go ahead and zoom in there. Okay, so this is awesome. It says, for your combat check, banish this card to roll 3d6 plus 12. You may succeed at an RK9 check to recharge this card. But that's what sucks, because Alhazra does not have the arcane uh, ability. So if she had the arcane skill, she wouldn't have to banish it. She could do 3d6 plus 12. I mean, this is pretty awesome I mean she really wants it and she just buffed up her items hmm the knot of Isis uh, when you examine this card recharge this card to add one dice to your intelligence knock on a check or your check then works the acid trait recharge this card to add the acid trait I mean this really isn't that interesting so we could get this either of those two items with fall with falsing deek we would have to just give him this loot character, which we don't really care for. And we could give him, actually, one of these spells. You know, uh, we would have to give him... We'd actually have to give him the Eruption spell, which we're not going to do. So when it comes... Or we could give him the Wanda Scorching Way. We could give him a Staff of Dark Flame. You know, so we got some options. Let me go ahead and zoom out here. So anyway, that is the state of uh, Alhazra's deck. There she is with the trader, deciding whether she wants any of those things. And I will let you know what the decision is uh, at the start or finish of the next scenario. I want to do the next deck check. But as it is, it doesn't look like she's going to be going for either of those options. Her deck is pretty solid as it is. Alright, well thanks for watching and I'll have another scenario up shortly.